Hi, hello. I am the Cyber Reef Guru. Thank you for watching. So I have an exciting unboxing video today. We are going to unbox the Woodpeckers. I believe it's a one-time tool corner clamp. And so this is really important to me because I made a bunch of boxes, uh, which are drawers for this workbench that I made not so long ago and I bought some relatively inexpensive corner clamps and they worked okay. So when I saw this email from Woodpeckers about these corner clamps, I, I literally looked at them and I said, hmm, that looks nicer than what I have. Um, so what I don't know is do they work better than what I have? All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna grab the box, we're gonna unbox this, and then we're going to uh, maybe kick the tires a little bit. We'll see what happens. All right, so let's, let's grab the box. All right, let's open the box and let's see what's inside. And I mentioned that I can't wait for my maker knife to show up. I know I'm not nearly as popular as uh, Jimmy DeResto, but I feel like I should have a maker knife. Especially because I ordered it almost six months ago. Packing material. My experience has been with these woodpeckers uh, things. Uh, they're packed very well when they are. Packing material is great. All right, so we have a uh, hex screwdriver thing, three sixteenths. All right. Okay, so it looks like we have one bag, two bags, three bags. Four bags. Okay. And some catalog and a, an invoice, which is pretty typical. Let's set this aside. Alright, so let's take a look at this. Um, what do we have here? Alright, so it looks like. I don't know why this is surprising to me. However, it looks like essentially they're all the same. Which, if you think about it in the abstract, they should all be the same, right? Okay. All right, I'm gonna open one just to show you uh, how it works. And then, you don't know that I have any projects coming up in the distant future to actually use these, but I'll just show you how they work. Right, so open the bag, right off the bat, have some, uh, the handles, screws for the handle, and a Allen wrench. They all seem to come with the same material. Two of these knobs, which are really nice. They, get, they, feel, they feel good. <laughs> There is the bag that has the nut, which I'm assuming goes into the knob, and then this Allen wrench. Okay, I've got the corner brackets here. Doesn't fit, doesn't sit flush. Interesting. This screw is actually sticking further down. I don't know if you can see that there. It's a little bit long. Okay, so this fits these. This fits these. Okay, uh, so I have two nuts, two corner clamps, two more nuts, two more corner clamps, two more nuts, two more corner clamps, two more nuts. More corner clamps. I also have 
the bolts and an Allen wrench. Four Allen wrenches. Now I do remember when I ordered this that I got the kit with this screwdriver that might make it a little bit easier. I loosen this a little bit. All right, so they sit flush. Good. But I do wonder, so this is what I'm wondering. Once you tighten this down, you know, you get your stuff in the corner and you tighten it down. Uh, where, whatever that corner might be. Is this screw going to cause it to rise up? I mean... It does rise up. Alright, so I found two pieces, two scraps of wood. They are roughly an inch thick. Probably were four quarter, milled down to what is now probably three quarters. So let's. Alright, so now. So I tighten the back up first and then. I remember this from the video, you tighten the top down, or the, the one that's facing the corner, you tighten it down, and it actually clamps in on the corner and creates this, a really awesome, tight thing. <laughs> uh, but more importantly, because this has got a little gap here, you can see that that screw which is a little bit longer, is not going through the bottom, which is, you know, I, I don't know what to say other than this is like, they inter engineered this thing perfectly. <laughs> um, it seemed a little odd. Uh, I did, when I was, you know, looking at it initially, think that maybe this is what was gonna happen, but um, that's pretty cool. Um, all right, I don't know, um, I'm going to have to make some, I actually have another project uh, that I'm going to make some drawers for. Uh, compare and contrast how this works with the drawers, uh, the other ones that I have. Uh, I would tell you right off the bat, my, my gut reaction is that uh, this is a lot better than what I was using before. But anyway, okay, so that's it. What I will do at this point. Uh, we're going to wrap this video up. This was the kind of the unboxing and the initial sort of playing around with it. I will, at some point in the future, do a review of these after I actually use them in a project. Uh, you know, farting around with these right off the bat, pulling them out of the box doesn't really show how easy or hard they are to use, in my opinion. So, uh, but look, they're well constructed. I, I like this. Whatever this is made out of, it looks like HDPE, but um, it's solid. These knobs, are, I don't know why I'm so fascinated with these knobs. They're, they feel wonderful. <laughs> All right, Allen wrenches, I probably don't need four of them, but it is what it is, I understand. So you can order as few or as many of these as you need. Now, again, I ordered the, the four, the kit of four, uh, you know, just because you're making a box, you need four. I could see a point in the future where I would need eight. Uh, a box, you know, four on the bottom, four on the top. But uh, we'll see what happens in the future. So, all right, so, this little screwdriver thing here, I gotta be honest with you, uh, if it doesn't come standard, it should. <laughs> All right, awesome, this is great. Uh, again, so we're gonna wrap this video up, but uh, and I'll do a follow-up of this when I actually get a chance to use it. But if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you don't like the video, I would appreciate a thumbs up anyway, but I would also appreciate a comment down below maybe talking about why you don't like the video and then making make future videos better. That's awesome. All right, don't forget to subscribe, ring that bell, very important these days. If you're not already following me on Instagram, please do so, I will link it down below. 
Uh, Instagram is where I do a lot of my more real-time updates. Uh, I post pictures whenever I'm working on projects throughout the week so you can get a kind of sense of what I'm working on. But don't forget to be inspired.